Was seid ihr für Menschen? Das sind wir. So, what was the biggest challenge for you during filming us? I think the biggest cha challenge was playing two characters in one movie and two characters that were completely in opposition to each other. Uh, I had to s s shift from one to the other, um, sometimes on the very next day, sometimes on the same day. And yeah, that, that offered a very specific kind of challenge because I obviously had to find their distinctions. With one of them, I had to, you know, do a, a voice and and um, the physicality of each was very specific. It was also a lot of fun because of that. Did your voice suffer from that kind of speaking? No, it didn't because uh, I worked... So the voice was inspired by this condition called spasmodic dysphonia, which uh, is a condition that is brought about by a trauma where your vocal folds spasm and create this irregular flow of air. And I worked with an ear, nose and throat doctor, a voice therapist and an accent coach all to make sure that I could do it and not hurt myself in the process because of course I had to play the other role as well. So it was really, really important that I didn't hurt my voice. Sei vorsichtig. <laughs> and uh, when you first read the screenplay, what were your thoughts? I was terrified, and I remember being delighted by it. I, it was the first horror screenplay that I read, like, you know, real horror. And um, I was delighted by it, and I was intrigued, and I could tell that there was more than met my eye. I knew that, you know, on the surface, it's this monster story, an invasion um, uh, horror, but there were layers, you know, and I could tell that there was social commentary and recall to past films and all these things that I just needed more information about. So I talked to Jordan shortly after I read it and just took vicious notes to try and keep up, trying to catch up to him. And uh, what do you like about the movie? What do I like about the movie? Well, I like the opportunity that it gave me. Um, I like how Jordan is able to really walk that thin line between comedy and horror, you know? At any given time, you, you're tense and then he makes you laugh and you're able to release a little bit of the tension but with anxiety because you are aware that something bad is gonna happen and then something bad happens and you scream and it just creates this kind of roller coaster of an experience that is unique. And then on top of that, he's able to pack so much meaning into a film. Was seid ihr für Menschen? And he trusts his audience to get it. He speaks to an intelligent audience and in so doing he elevates us as an audience. And so he edifies our minds, you know, by entrusting us with, with, with the, this kind of intricate storytelling. Uh, this is a lot of things I love about this film. And when you, uh, when you, when you watched the movie for the very first time, like, what did you feel? Because I, I recently watched it and it scared the shit out of me. Yeah. And I was wondering, how would you feel? Well, because I'm in it, I will never have the experience you did. Because I'm, I'm not able to watch it um, separately. Because that's me. And it's always uncomfortable to watch myself. And to watch myself twice is weird. And so I was kind of, I was overwhelmed when I watched it the first time. I really didn't, I really, there was just too much going on in my head for me to even really understand what was happening. So I, I watched it a second time and I got it. I felt, I could see the film for a little bit more for what it is. You're living in the US. And did you ever think about those uh, underground stuff, all those sub tunnels and stuff? Yeah, tunnels. yeah, I mean, of course, you know, I, I live in New York and so subways and things, they're there and there's lots of them that are abandoned and, you know, at certain times of the year they are wet and kind of spooky and you can hear drip, drip, drips and 
there's lots of people that live down there and there's you know I've heard about the the mole people they're quite this urban legend but you know uh, so I was aware I'm very aware of the underground system in in New York and obviously your mind sometimes wanders and thinks about all the crazy scary things that are happening down there and Jordan took full advantage of that. Thank <laughs> you.